I have seven pieces of gatla fish here. The secret behind tasty fish career is choosing right kind of fish. Make sure the fish slices are from fresh and big fish. Now marinate the fish with salt and turmeric powder. Make sure you sprinkle seasoning on each fish piece. Rub the fish very well with spices. If you feel the fish is not fresh or two to three days old, Drizzle some lemon juice with the marination. It will help to remove fish smell. Now I'm gonna heat mustard oil. When the oil is hot, then turn the heat to medium low. Wait for a few seconds and then put your fish pieces in the oil. Don't overcrowd the pan. If too much fish you put in the pan at a time, you won't able to turn the side. One more thing, while you are frying the fish, keep the lid on else the oil will splatter and may damage your skin like this the oil sticks in my eye fortunately nothing happened but it could be dangerous fry the both sides of the fish until they are golden brown but do not fry so much that the fish surface becomes hard and impervious the fish is done now and i'm gonna take them out i don't need this much of oil to make curry so i'm gonna remove you can use this leftover oil to make another dish. I'm also gonna add one tablespoon clarified butter, that is ghee along with the oil, let it heat. Next I'm gonna coarsely pound some cardamom and cloves, that is elaichi and long. It will make the dish flavorful and tasty. Add this coarse spice directly to the pan along with cinnamon sticks and bay leaves. Sort it till they release nice aroma. Now add sliced onion, Saute them. To add nice caramelized color, I'll add little sugar and saute for a few seconds. Next, we'll go ginger garlic paste, about one teaspoon. Then onion puree and cook them for a while. Now for tomato puree and cook well for few minutes on medium flame. By the time, take a bowl. I have yogurt in this bowl. In this yogurt, I'm gonna add red chili powder, turmeric powder, coriander powder, cumin powder, and salt. Give a mix. Now add this in the pan and stir well. And now I'm gonna add cashew and poppy seeds paste and cook until the oil separates from the masala. Now as you can notice that the masala is nicely done, it's time to add water and bring it to a boil. When it comes to boil, add fish pieces and cook for 5 minutes by covering the pan. Now see, the gravy is nicely thick like the way the fish color should be. Finally, I'm gonna add garam masala powder, some green chilies, and chopped coriander leaves. Just a quick stir to mix them all. Now my fish kalia is ready to dish out. Enjoy with plain rice or pulao. Hello and welcome to Sharmila's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make chingri paturi. This is an unique way of Bengali prawn preparation. The prawns are steeped in pungent mustard coconut paste and wrapped in a plantain leaves and then it is either cooked on tawa or steam it. The flavor of plantain leaves, mustard, coconut and a good dose of mustard oil make it really impressive and delicious. For this recipe, medium sized prawns work good but you could also use small shrimps or if you get big prawns cut into small pieces and use it first i'm gonna make a marination in a mixing jar i'm gonna put chopped fresh coconut green chilies i'm gonna chop it and add in mustard powder 
turmeric powder salt to taste and mustard oil some of the prawns close the lid and blend it let's look at the mixture it's now on coarsely ground stage i'm already getting pungent flavor of mustard oil and chilies pour in about 50 ml water and blend until smooth the marination is done now dip the prawns in this marinade so that each of them are well coated with spice paste give a good mix i'm going to keep it aside for 15 minutes or so now let me show you how to use banana leaf in this recipe try to use fresh banana leaves i already cut the banana leaves in rectangular pieces what i'm going to do is now swiping the leaves on the flame this way the leaves will be more pliable so that you can easily fold the prawns rub little mustard oil on the glossy sides of the each leaf add more mustard oil in the prawns place the prawns along with mustard paste in the center of the leaf you can put one green chili on the top if you wish to and fold the sides by overlapping each other to make like a parcel make sure the marination wrap in the leaf well so that it cannot come out when cooking secure them by tying each of them with kitchen twine now if you don't have kitchen twine then tie with simple sewing threads but it's not that strong so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut hard meat beef of the leaf in 3 to 4 strips like this as you can see and i'm going to use these strips to tie the banana leaf it ties the leaf strongly Now I am going to shallow fry it. Heat oil in a pan about 2 tablespoon. Put the parcels in the hot oil. Cook on low flame for 10 minutes so that the prawns inside the leaf cook well. Traditionally the parcels used to be placed inside the pan of steaming freshly cooked rice, but you can also make this way. While cooking these parcels they will start crackling because of the moisture of banana leaf so be careful cover the pan for a while the prawns will be infused by the banana leaf with mustard coconut paste slender green chilies and yellow mustard oil and make it very flavorful and authentic chingrid paturi let me show you the chingrid paturi It's cooked perfect and enthralled me to dig in. Now I'm going to serve it with rice. So my chingdi paturi or prawn parcel is ready to be served. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you like this recipe, then you would also love my other Bengali authentic recipes like shorshe ilish, vegetable chop, Kolkata chicken biryani, chicken roll. and many more delicious recipes are there on my channel so make sure you subscribe to sharmila's kitchen to get such more beautiful and authentic bengali recipes hello and welcome to sharmila's kitchen today i am going to show you how to make shorshe ilish Shorshe ilish is a classic Bengali style fish preparation made from hilsha fish which is cooked in beautiful and hot mustard gravy. I hope you would definitely love this recipe. If you like this recipe, please give this a big thumbs up, comment and don't forget to subscribe to Sharmila's Kitchen. So let's get started. First I remove the scale and clean the fish properly. Now let's see what do we require for this shorshe ilish. We need hilsa fish which is ilish mach in Bengali. This is very popular fish in the world. We need 5 pieces of hilsa fish which is about 450 g, 2 tablespoon mustard powder, 
हाफ टी स्पून अनियन सीड्स और कालू जीरे टू टी स्पून रेड चिली पाउडर वन टी स्पून टर्मरिक पाउडर सॉल्ट टेस्ट मस्टर्ड ऑयल अबाउट थ्री टेबल स्पून फॉर फ्राइंग द फिश एंड द ग्रेवी हाफ कप ऑफ मिल्क थ्री ग्रीन चिलीज दैट आर स्लीटेड फर्स्ट आई एम गोट अप्लाई हाफ टी स्पून सॉल्ट एंड टर्मरिक पाउडर टू द फिश पीसेस रब द स्पाइस वेल Then I'm gonna heat oil in a pan. Once the oil is hot, I'm gonna put the fish pieces one by one. We are going to cook it on medium heat for one minute each side. Don't fry the fish steaks for long time. I just want to remove the raw smell from this fish, so little bit of frying would help it to do so. Now it's done. So remove from the heat and keep it aside. In the same pan, I'm gonna put onion seeds or kalu jeera and green chilies. Make sure the pan is hot enough. Allow the spices to release its aroma. While the spices are sizzling, here I'm gonna add water in the mustard powder to make it paste. You can also use fresh mustard paste here. as we use mustard frequently in many dishes so i keep the mustard powder in my pantry it is more convenient to use and not bitter at all if you are going to make fresh mustard paste at home then soak 1 tsp big and black mustard white mustard in water and blend along with one green chili and salt this way the paste will be nice and not bitter at all now keep the flame low I'm going to put turmeric powder, red chili powder directly in the pan and a quick mix. Make sure they don't burn at all. Add mustard paste and little bit of water. Little bit of salt. Again mix quickly and put the milk. You can also put water instead of milk. I use milk here to enhance the richness and creaminess to the dish. Bring the gravy to a good boil. Now I'm going to put the fish pieces. Don't stir the fish pieces too much. Now cover for a minute. After a while the gravy has come to a right consistency not so thin and not so thick like the way we love now it is almost ready put some extra green chilies on the top keep it covered until served to incorporate the flavor of green chilies in the gravy and serve with hot steaming rice